In the olden days, there was only one way to become a pop star. Get discovered by a record company. But nowadays, you can find your fame and fortune much more directly on YouTube. You don't have to call me to fest, really looking for you. This is the Bed Intruder song. YouTube visitors have watched this song well over a hundred million times. Its success has brought fame and fortune not only to this unlikely singer, whose speech was turned into song, but also to the Gregory Brothers, four young Brooklyn musicians who made him seem to sing. You started what, doing birthday parties or how did it go? Their brothers, Evan, Michael, and Andrew, plus Evan's wife, Sarah. I'll be your DJ this evening. Originally, autotune was intended to correct singers when they're a little sharp or flat, but the Gregory brothers like to use it on the spoken word. If you turn up autotune all the way, you force every spoken syllable onto a note. In effect, you make them sing. You make them sing. You make them sing. You are really gone for real. The Bed Intruder song began life with almost unthinkable source material, a local news report about an attempted rape in Alabama. The victim's brother, Antoine Dodson, had some choice words for the local TV cameras. He's climbing in your windows. He's snatching your people up. It's much different after the Gregory Brothers treatment. He's climbing in your windows, he's snatching your people up, trying to rape them, so you need to hide your kids, hide your wife. Hide this unlikely mashup of TV news and pop music became a huge hit online. Over a thousand people were inspired to record their own versions. He's climbing through your windows, he's snatching your people up. He's trying to rape them, so you need to hide your kids, hide your wife. Pretty soon, fans were sending the Gregory Brothers videos of other eccentric characters on the local news. Like this woman who witnessed a liquor store robbery. And then when I'm on my knees, I'm backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. I'm backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up, cause my daddy taught me good. Or this guy who saw a double rainbow in Yosemite and had an over-the-top reaction. Double rainbow all the way across the sky. <laughs> all right, so we've got the original clip. At their office in Brooklyn, the Gregory brothers took me behind the scenes to see their hit machine. <laughs> and I put in some background vocals to help them out. That's <laughs> <laughs> so, you? Yeah, that's me. That's <laughs> it. And the hit is born. <laughs> Today, you can buy these songs from the iTunes store. The Gregory Brothers split the profits with their victims. I mean, uh, co-stars, including Antoine Dodson. Yeah, we went just 50-50, just like co-writers would go. So he's making 50% of the proceeds from the iTunes song. As the unintentional lyricist. And I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, my god. All of these unintentional lyricists have made a lot of money from the Gregory Brothers. But one thing kept bothering me. Aren't we mocking their unsophistication? We're not making a judgment on whether a person is kind of low class or high class or making a fool themselves or, or, or not, but a lot of those interesting turns of phrases that are memorable and make a musical hook come from unusual situations. Auto-tune isn't the only Gregory Brothers trick. They also make extensive use of green screen. It's a common Hollywood effect that's usually used to put the movie star into some exotic background, but they use it to put themselves into other people's news footage. Yeah, let's put David in the, in the hot seat. Does this make me an honorary Gregory brother? Yeah. You're giving me my own Gregory brother's mustache. Uh-huh. Do I look like a congressman? Oh, yeah. This is the end of my television career right here. <laughs> the next step takes place on the computer which will replace all the green areas with a new picture or video. For our little experiment, Michael edited me into an old Gregory Brothers production in which they turned network news into music videos. Yeah, we will find ourselves on very thin ice. 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 Very thin ice.
Nice. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. I'll put that on my resume. So what happens when you become a pop music phenomenon, the newfangled YouTube way? Uh, we, we don't even need that long of a sound check. You pick up the sure trappings all... of an old fangled pop star. Thanks so much. Bye. You get an agent. You go on tour. You create an iPhone app called Songify This. It turns your speech into song. It turns your speech into song. It turns your speech into song. And Comedy Central approaches you about making a TV series. The Gregory Brothers have done very well indeed. The Bed Intruder song alone has sold over half a million copies at $1.30 a piece. When you were children, you did not say, I want to grow up to be a viral YouTube sensation. Actually, actually we did. <laughs> when, we were, when we were young kids, we just said, we hope that in the next 20 years, there will be a software developed that will let you change the spoken voice, and there will be a, a thing that connects computers, and there will be a video sharing site where we'll be able to green screen. <laughs> you were some visionary babies. Mom and Dad wanted us to be policemen. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy.